Our motto is play hard, play fair, give back. Dog Nation is a force of hockey players who help other hockey players. And tonight they hosted a special and emotional event for two teenagers who more than deserve the help. Dylan Thomas live at the University of Denver tonight with a story. And it must have been really inspiring to witness, Dylan. That's definitely the case tonight through a quick game of sledge hockey. The Denver hockey community came together to support athletes who are disabled, specifically two of them who survived a horrific bus crash in April. Returning to the ice. Words can't describe it. It's like time doesn't exist. It's something just months ago that seemed nearly inconceivable for Ryan Strasninski and Jacob Wasserman. That's the longest I think of my whole life that I've spent off the ice. Last April, the duo was on a bus with their Humboldt Bronco teammates in Canada when a semi hit them. 16 were killed, 13 injured. Since the crash, all over the world has come together to support us, including Colorado's own Dog Nation. They've come together to help us out and, and support everyone through this, um, you know, this tragedy. There he goes. The Dog Nation Foundation brought the two from Canada to Magnus Arena. I think it's going to be emotional is what I think it's going to be tonight. And I think it's going to not just be for me, but for the boys and, and, and the, their fathers here today too. Where the teens returned to the ice. It was the most amazing feeling. Though the sport comes with new challenges. You go to sledge hockey, you're starting from like point zero pretty much. So it, it can be frustrating at times, but... It's, you just gotta grind through that part. Being back on skates was enough for these two. You're out there doing what you love to do and nothing else in the world really matters after that. And nothing can take away their love for the sport. Hockey's more than just a game. I think it's about the relationships you make, the life lessons you learn, and you know, just growing up uh, facing adversity at some, at some points. And while the two have aspirations to be in the Olympics one day, for now, they're going to have to settle with the NHL. Tomorrow, they'll be headed to Pepsi Center to drop the first puck at the Avs versus Stars game. That starts at 7, so make sure to head out there and watch them. Reporting live in Denver, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado first. Yeah, great job by everybody involved. Dylan, thanks a lot.